From the 2005 Atlantic hurricane season, the world witnessed a catastrophic hurricane like none other before. Hurricane Katrina was the costliest, more than $81 billion in damages, and one of the deadliest natural disasters in the history of the United States. Among recorded Atlantic hurricanes, it was the sixth strongest overall storm and the fifth deadliest. At least 1,836 people lost their lives in the turmoil brought on by Hurricane Katrina. The winds, the rain, the storm surge, the levee failures, and subsequent floods all contributed to making it the deadliest and costliest U.S. hurricane ever. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, forced by the unrelenting flood damage, residents of the city of New Orleans were forced to abandon their homes and their livelihood. Many families found refuge in the city of Houston. Under the leadership of Bill White, tens of thousands of citizens were offered immediate financial assistance, shelter, food, and essential services, facilities such as Houston's Astrodome, the George R. Brown Convention Center, and other faith-based community facilities throughout the city of Houston were dramatically repurposed. The venues, more than one million square feet of space, were strategically designed and staged to accommodate the sudden massive influx of Gulf Coast families. The amenities offered were communication networks that facilitated locating and reuniting of families, a secure environment for peace and rest, an outlet for spiritual rejuvenation, and inspiring and uplifting moments brought by visitors like Oprah. Bill White spearheaded national and local support to masterfully organize a joint task force that quickly mobilized over 100,000 community-wide resources. White's strategy provided innovative programs for individuals and families to secure financial assistance, long-term housing, job placement, transportation, childcare, continuation of education, and medical attention offering a seamless transition to new opportunities in the city of Houston. Years later, on the fifth anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, families affected by the disaster share intimate conversations that reveal how Bill White's leadership has positively impacted their lives. Because of Bill White's relentless commitment, in 2007, he was awarded the prestigious John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award in recognition of his political courage in leading a compassionate and effective government response to the disaster. And how did you originally get from Louisiana to Houston? I got the desire to leave about uh, midnight, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Uh, my girlfriend, her roommate at that time, we all drove from New Orleans. Uh, of course, it was a long line on I-10 in Metairie and Kenner, but I got that thought, uh, and we left about midnight. We arrived in Houston about 5, 5.30, which was the uh, normal time, and everything was okay. We were blessed to get out at that point in time because Sunday and Monday, it was, it was too late. So how did you get to Houston? After Rita, because we were still on the road, we had no place to go, no jobs, lost everything, pension savings, everything. Uh, when Rita came along, we went to Lake Charles and Beaumont. And then finally, in November of 2005, we made our way to Houston. Now it's been five years, the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Can you tell us how it's affected your life or how you're adjusting to your new life? Uh, well. I am a mom, I have three kids, a wife. Uh, I'm not exactly a stay-at-home mom, but I'm self-employed, so I'm able to be at home with my children. Uh, my employment is I'm a photographer, a writer, I work in the movie industry, uh, mostly independent films. Can you tell us how it's affected your life? It took a while. It took almost four years uh, for me to actually have to stop fighting with my kids because they really want to go back home. And for the first year and a half to two years, I drove, I rode a bus, we did a plane, we did a train every weekend back to New Orleans. That was a thing that we actually had to do. 
I did in order to make them more comfortable. Now it's been five years, the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Can you tell us how it's affected your life or how you're adjusting to your new life? It affected my life uh, completely with school. Having to leave Xavier University and start attending the University of Houston, that was fun. Uh, just the whole arrangement of school and then having to return back to New Orleans in January and having to do three full semesters of the whole year of 2006. Now, after you arrived, were you able to take advantage of some of the programs and resources that the Bill White administration provided once you got here in Houston? Well, I have to tell you that we had to take advantage of every resource that was offered. We had housing, um, clothing, food. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, without the city of Houston's help, we had nothing. Absolutely nothing. Transportation, um, of course, you must understand as being a woman with disabilities. The city of Houston was especially sensitive to my needs. They provided me with interpreters for all the resource centers, all the places that I needed to go stand in line. Every time I was interviewed, every time I went to the doctor, every time I did anything, there were interpreters there and there were people who not only helped us communicate, but also helped us with the equipment we needed to to uh, be functional. So what does Bill White mean to you and how has his experience touched your life? His leadership has opened up my eyes to true politicians, not just a politician with a title who, who is power hungry, but someone who truly has a heart for the people and will love to do things for the people and that's why he is searching and wanting to be in office to help the people. Is there anything you'd like to say to Bill White? Currently, I just got hired at a church to work in their audio video department. And I'm currently editing for, the, for that church. I wish him well, and I wish that he will continue doing what, what he is doing. Uh, hopefully, he will become the, the governor of Texas and take us further. Uh, his heart and his mindset of the people is truly what is needed in this government. After experiencing Bill White's leadership as mayor of Houston, how do you think that leadership will carry over for the state of Texas? As mayor, he was phenomenal. And I'm quite sure as governor, he would be the same, but you know, more. When you got to Houston, were you able to take advantage of a lot of the programs and resources that were available during Mayor Bill White's administration? Um, I was able to take advantage of the Katrina breakfasts that he did for a month after the storm. Um, I was able to be a part of uh, the housing choice vouchers that he actually provided. Um, and they had a few more other things that he provided that I actually took advantage of. So what does Bill White mean to you and how has his experience touched your life? My kids, they have now adjusted. I have a 21 year old that's actually in college. She graduates next year in May. I have a 19 year old who just graduated high school. She's now in college. And I have an 18-year-old, she's in high school at Langham Creek High. She's a uh, president of her cosmetology class. I have a junior at Langham Creek who's also an officer in cosmetology. And my son, he's in ninth grade, just entered freshman at Langham Creek High. And he's on the football team now. And he entered ninth grade with three honor classes. And he's also in the starting lineup for football. So it's, it's really working out for me and my family now. It really is. Now it's been five years, the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Can you tell us how it's affected your life or how you're adjusting to your new life? Well, I've adjusted. Uh, it's taken me a while. It's taken me just about the five years to try to kind of get back on track where I was in New Orleans before the storm came. Before the storm came in New Orleans, I was actually just getting my feet into the independent movie industry and had several incentive programs coming to New Orleans that um, was bringing the business there to start building and then we had to leave. So being here in Houston, it was a little difficult to get back into the meeting people and the connections and things like that to get my work done. So I had to travel back and forth to Louisiana to actually work. Um, there are some programs now here in Houston as far as the incentive programs that's bringing more businesses here. So I'm able to start reconnecting and rebuilding and things like that in order to 
get back into my industry. After experiencing Bill White's leadership as mayor of Houston, how do you think that leadership will carry over for the state of Texas? His ability to organize and put great logistics in place to run things smoothly and take advantage of resources and also um, develop and create new resources to help the uh, state the way it helped the city at that time and the weed out problems that may have occurred from his because that was an unprecedented event so the fact that it ran over so smoothly and everything was able to be taken advantage of by us not who evacuated not just right well. not my family everyone all of us because we have quite a few people from New Orleans who decided decided to stay because of the way things were set up through Bill White's leadership. So I would assume he would take those skills over to being governor and organize a great state. Now, you've had an opportunity to experience the leadership of Bill White as mayor of Houston. How do you think he's gonna do as uh, a state leader, a leader of the state of Texas? Oh, if he can do for the state of Texas what he has done for the city of Houston, the people of Houston, uh, it would be absolutely fabulous. Because, you know, he has the skills, he has the knowledge, he has the backing, he has the support, he has the heart, and he has the empathy for the people. And, you know, the key words are heart and empathy. Because if you understand who your responsibilities are, who you're working for, and that yes, you must make decisions and take action to improve the quality of people's lives, which he has done for so many people who were forced to migrate here. Yes, I think he's gonna do a fantastic job. Is there anything you'd like to say to Bill White? I would like to really say thank you for everything that you have done for me and my family, and I wish you all the success in the world on becoming governor for the state of Texas. Is there anything you'd like to say to Bill White? Thank you. Um, really, thank you for everything. I appreciate it. My family appreciates it. My friends appreciate it. Everything. We just thank you. Was well, there anything you'd like to say to Mr. White? Yeah, there's a, quite a bit I would love to say to Mayor Bill White. Um, and I, I think that I will say it in sign language. I will tell you thank you, thank you, thank you for all the help, the love, the friendship, and uh, to let you know that yes, yes, deaf people and people who are older and disab you know, disabled, uh, we all, we all, Thank you, and understand that it was hard to help us, but you did. Thank you, thank you. I love you.